ask me a question about my dreams. It is not a question that happens much here. You have concrete floors. You have clean water inside your very own house. Your children go to school and you do not think anything of that fact. This is not what we know here. Sometime when I dream, I think of ghosts. My father was there before they became ghosts. He remembers leaving the city. Of the hunger, always hungry. He does not like to speak of that time. I am afraid of these ghosts. There are so many. I still dream, I have hopes. My sister, she wants to be a doctor. That means she must go to school. Someone must pay for that. To find the money, it is in Nom Pen, in the sewing factories. My parents did not want me to go to the city. But where else is there to go? What other way is there to make money? It is the only road. So my father, he finally says yes and I go to work in the factories. When I lived in Phnom Penh, I lived with five other women in this apartment. We are relatives and friends, so we look out for each other. This many people in one apartment, it is fine for sleeping, but it is not easy to cook or bathe or do the laundry. We take turns with each thing. It is the only way to save and be safe too. This is where I worked. The salary was $1.50 for each day, so $40 for a month was normal. If we meet the quota in the factory, you get $5 bonus at the end of the month. Of course we make the quota. I try to save half of that to send home. You wake up at 5 a.m. to be at the factory by 7 a.m. You end at 8 p.m. But even if we work overtime, it is not easy to save. We must pay for rent, we must pay for food. Even to go home to visit, that costs us money we don't have. I work in this way in the factory for six years. Even in six years in the garment factory, you do not learn to sew. You learn small pieces, a button or a sleeve. You do this one thing, you do it thousands of times, but you do not learn anything else. And you are tired, always so tired. Everything changed when one day, a group of the garment workers, we were invited to a dinner. The hosts, they interviewed us. I was not sure what they wanted. Then they asked what we wanted. I told the truth. 
I wanted to learn to sew. I wanted to learn to sew a whole garment, how to make the whole thing, and then to do this in my village and not far away. Even if we earned the same as in the factory, it would be such an improvement. And Elise, she calls me back. I will learn to sew. And I learned. And then I told Elise the rest of my dream. In this dream, the ghosts are not there. So I went home. My village is called Tremung Trum. This is where I grew up. It is a long walk or ox cart ride from Nom Pen, perhaps 60 kilometers. But here the water tastes better. Our family is here. This is my home. Alan and Elise, they help with the first sewing machines. I begin to teach how to sew in my own village. I taught for two terms, 12 women. They all learned to sew. I said, if we sew at home, we can stay with our families. We can help our parents. We can grow food. We can keep money in our home and village instead of in a city. This is what I told them. And now we are all in our village and we all sew here. From these women, eight of us created a group, an association we call Red Dirt Road. These women, they are my true friends. We work together in Nom Pen and share the apartment. Some are married, some have children, such beautiful sons and daughters. Before Hab Pass, she could not see her child for months. Now she can feed him, help him with school. One of the women, when she is not working with Red Dirt Road, she works to grow rice with her husband. They had a good year this year. And Kaur, she is so good at sewing. She takes extra time to be perfect with every scene. All of us, we try to be so good as her. We joke with her that she is also lucky that her husband likes to cook, so sometimes he makes the dinner. Such a thing, this would not happen if all women worked in garment factory. Lei, she can also work in the field with her husband when she does not sew. And she takes care of her chicken. This is all of us in Red Dirt Road. Me and all the women, we all have a similar dream, to make the money so our children can learn and not be ignorant like us. I tell you this, we know we are ignorant. We are without school. We cannot let this be the way for our children. It is why we work so hard. But when we first start, we sold nothing. No one came to buy our dresses and shirts. It is not because they are bad, but it was too much to compete against garments from the big factory. My parents, they told me not to give up, but I still worried. If we are not able to sell, this cannot continue. <laughs> then good luck comes to us, two women from America. They are Lynn and Marie. They heard about Red Dirt Road and they came to see what we do. I can never fully thank Marie. What she does is like magic to me. She has these new ideas. She knows these people in America. It is a way of doing business that is so different from what I know. Lynn and Marie, they arranged to take our goods to America. 
They showed them to customers and they sold our goods, all of them. Only because of Marie and Lynn do we finally make a profit. And we grew. We added sewing machines. We have three, then four. Today we have nine machines. This is because Marie and Lynn, they discovered people to buy what we make at Red Dirt Road. When someone buys a purse or scarf from Red Dirt Road, it is a small miracle that can happen. It is as if we have sisters in America now. In the way I send my sister to school, these new sisters in America, they learn of us here. They buy our products, and yes, that is a miracle to us. Us women, we sometimes laugh when we sew at Red Dirt Road. I like to hear us laugh, to laugh and work at the same time. This is something new. They say when you eat fresh vegetables, you feel fresh inside too. I think that is true. Our customers, we explain to them that when they buy Red Dirt Road products, these are beautiful products, good quality, a good seam on a purse, a pretty design for a scarf. These products, they also make our life, me and Lay and Tit and Cole, all of us, they make our life more beautiful. There is no model of what we try to do here. This idea to sew in our village and not in a big factory. When we make a profit, this is a celebration. The women who work get paid. After we are paid, there is sometimes a profit. We share this profit with our village. We have children in our village who can go to school now. They will not be ignorant like us. They will speak Khmer and English. This is a new generation, and they will be better because of us. It is for this reason we need more people to know of Red Dirt Road. If we do not have the orders, this will end. I do not wish this to end. Life here, it is not certain and it is not easy, but this is better. We have hope. My sister, she is in school. She is learning still. That is a dream come true. To sew in my own village with Red Dirt Road, it is a second dream come true. I do not dream of ghosts now. I dream of Red Dirt Road and what we can be. And it is beautiful. <laughs>